What looks like an ordinary building in Riga, the capital of Latvia, actually hosts 2,500 square meters of laboratories, where 220 physicists, chemists, engineers, and other experts in the sophisticated field of solid-state physics have turned this institute into a European research center of excellence. Let's see how and to what extent this is possible and why this is important for this Baltic country. Founded in 1978, the Institute of Solid State Physics at the University of Latvia has just been upgraded to what their managers claim is the most advanced center of excellence for education, research, innovation, and technology transfer in the Baltic states. This laboratory in a clean room area allows scientists, for instance, to develop new batteries, some of them partially based on sodium. We're doing the whole synthesis, characterization, and then specifically here we assemble batteries and we study these materials and how they behave in actual batteries. Meaning, of course, we try to improve the energy and power density of these materials so the batteries can eventually store more energy and give off more power as well as charge faster. Researchers also want to develop the organic LEDs of tomorrow, otherwise known as OLEDs. The scientists here say they are carrying out tests that could make the manufacturing of this future lighting technology as simple as inkjet printing. With inkjet printing, we can print all of our needs on the paper. The same way, if we have organic materials, which could be solution processable, we could make all ADs by inkjet printing technique. It's cheap, and we can make any form and shape of artificial lighting. New materials, but of a different nature, are studied at the Institute's laboratory of spectroscopy. Scientists have developed a new ceramic compound that helps the human eye to see invisible lasers with multiple applications in the medical field or during surgery. If the laser is powerful then, uh, and we don't see this radiation, it is, we have a, a big chance of uh, damaging skin or, or eyes. That is why we need to, to transform this radiation to, to visualize it. And uh, what we have developed here, we have developed a material that, is, uh, uh, that can transform infrared radiation into visible light with very high efficiency. This technology transfer was possible thanks to a European research project aimed at turning the institute from academia-focused to industry-oriented. We would like to be more involved with some global uh, challenges like environment or healthcare and so on. And, and then it gets more multidisciplinary, first of all, and, and also need to involve uh, industry. The Institute is also carrying out research activities to develop nanocomposites, electronic materials, thin films, and coating technologies. <laughs>